Hey everyone, this is Travis, and in this video we're going to show you how to update the Octopad SBD30 to version 2. So to start, we're going to prepare and format our USB key in the SBD30. Okay, once you have the USB key installed, uh, we're going to format it. And to do that, we're going to press Menu. Uh, we're going to turn the Function 1 knob until we get to USB, and then press Function 3, Enter. Then we're going to press the Function 2 button until we get to the Format tab. Once you're at the Format tab, you'll press Function 3 again to select Enter, and then one more time for Format, and then lastly, OK. And this will just take a few seconds. Now we have our USB key installed in the computer, and as you see, it shows up like this. It's SP30. Uh, and here is our zip files that we downloaded from RolandUS.com and I'm going to double click that and open it up to a new folder. Okay, as you'll notice in this same window here, just note that we do have uh, some other PDF documents which might be helpful to you, including this uh, SP30 release note document, which contains detailed instructions on how to do this update, as well as some uh, kit listings and, and other things. And in that folder, we have an SPD30 system folder, which we'll open up. And here are our two .bin files, which we're going to transfer over to the USB memory key. And we can do that just like this. Okay, now that we've transferred the files, here's what it looks like. Uh, notice the bin files are at the root uh, level of the USB key, and they're not in the Roland folder. Make sure you don't put them inside the Roland folder, otherwise uh, your update won't go through as planned. So now I have ejected the USB key from the computer, and I'm going to install it into the SP30. Okay, let's first turn off the power. And then we're going to hold down the Function 3 button, and while holding it down, turn on the power. So just make sure you keep holding down the Function 3 button. Once this shows up in the display, it's prompting us to press F1 to execute, and we'll press our Function 1 button to execute the update. Okay, done. And notice now on the display that it's prompting us to do a factory reset. So, to do that, we're going to turn off the power and remove the USB key and then perform the factory reset. Okay, to do the reset, we're going to power back on. And select OK for that message. We'll press Menu and turn the function 1 knob to get to system and press function 3 for enter and we'll navigate to the factory reset tab and then turn function 1 again to get to factory reset and then function 3 to press enter and one more time to select reset are you sure actually one more Okay, and that's it. And that's how you install version 2 on the SPD30. Thanks for watching.